be very complicated to do multi-camera work. But over the years, we've been pushing the technology a lot, aiming to make this more accessible to everyone. Here's a quick video tutorial about how to set up your first bullet time installation. First of all, get your equipment ready. For this demo, we're going to use six DSLR cameras, six USB cables, one USB hub, one PowerPoint presenter, and one computer. Connect the USB cables to the cameras, then to the USB hub, and then the USB hub to the computer. Unzip Xangle camera server on your desktop and run the software. Turn on the cameras one by one from one to six. Make sure you're on manual mode on the cameras. Disable the auto power off setting to avoid losing your cameras. Set the number of cameras to six by clicking on the camera status on the top right corner of the screen. Green color means that all of your cameras are connected. From the dashboard, click on automatically assign camera numbers. Place your calibration bar at the center of the installation. This calibration bar should be black with two bright markers at the top and bottom and a darker one in the middle. Turn on the live view on each camera and align with the bar. Use the grid to help with the precision. From Xangle, click on the calibration panel, set your settings to more or less ISO 200, F4 and 1 200th of a second shutter speed. Click on Calibrate and then tweak the settings until you get a perfectly calibrated shot. Once you get a good digital calibration, it becomes your reference and it's going to be applied on each set of pictures you're taking. Connect the USB dongle to the computer and turn on the device. The trigger button is B. You can also use the B key on the keyboard or the trigger button on the dashboard. You're now ready to take your first picture. Change the settings so it makes sense with your light condition. For this first shot, we're going to use three LED panels with continuous light. These are our current settings. To freeze the moment, the best trick is to hold down the button to put the cameras on standby, and then to release at the exact moment you want the picture to be taken. Click on the player tab. You can use the left and right arrows to navigate from one to the other. Use the zero key to go back to the latest one. You can also trigger the cameras in interval mode to add more movement to your videos. And for this, click on trigger mode, interval, and then set your interval between 1 and 200 milliseconds. Here's an example at 5 milliseconds and another one at 30 milliseconds. From the same menu, You'll find the famous jump and freeze mode, which does exactly what it should. However, you'll need a few more cameras to make this look interesting. Here's a few examples using 18 cameras, 42 cameras, and 132 cameras. To get the best precision with triggering, you can use an external flash. Place your transmitter on one of your cameras and your flash on the side of the rig. Then put your cameras at 1 60th second shutter speed. To review your videos or to share them, click on the gallery. From there, click on a thumbnail to share it. You can easily add additional devices for the replay, the sharing or the settings control by using a web browser to connect to your local server. There are many other possible things to play with, including green screen, watermarks, fancy overlays, color grading, animated overlays, vertical shooting or speed ramping, but let's keep this video short and leave the advanced features for another video. We hope this helps you to feel more comfortable with this technology. It can look a bit overwhelming at first, but once you master everything, the possibilities are endless.